January 1937, off the South Pole. The submarine HMS Victoria has picked up two mysterious crates, as well as a young Norwegian explorer, Bjorn Hamsun. Unfortunately, the commando unit carrying out the Polaris operation was unable to save Bjorn's father, Peter. He would always remain a prisoner of an ultra-secret base. Operation Polaris completed. Two crates on board. Bjorn Hampson recovered. Mental state critical. Lieutenant O'Leary reported missing, returning to base. Are the two crates still covered with ice? Affirmative. Do not expose them to heat under any circumstances. Keep an eye on Hampson. He knows more. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Out. Lieutenant Ryan, given Lieutenant O'Leary's demise, you are now second in command aboard the Victoria. Talk to the captain, I'm the pilot. Do you think Hampson will pull through? We shall do our utmost to ensure that the scientific community does not lose its most brilliant anthropologist. Are the two crates safe, Captain? Your Secret Service superiors in Washington will be pleased to know that they are now in the hands of the Royal Navy, Lieutenant Ryan. That Hampson's got nerve. I wonder how on earth he managed to send us an SOS while in the hands of the Nazis. Without that chap, Operation Polaris would never have gone off the ground. Vessel on the surface, Captain! Seven degree tilt, climb to within 20 feet. They tricked us! Dive! Aye, aye, Captain! State of red alert. Damage report, Disco. They've hit our stern, Captain. To the hole, Lieutenant. Follow me. Jones. The crates. Something inside them. Something. He's dead, Captain. Driscoll, Lloyd and Jones are dead. There's something alive in the crates. I'm assuming command of the Victoria. Aye, aye, Admiral. We'll get out of it. What are your orders? We've got to tame this beast. The enemy vessel has disappeared from the radar. That's one less worry anyway. What will we do about the creature? Are there any weapons on board the Victoria? No one. The Victoria is not equipped for offensive operations. Where's Hampson? Maybe he knows something. They put him in a bunk to sleep, but he's still delirious. Lloyd knew more than we did. Did he mention the notes on Operation Polaris? 
I don't think so. He got his orders directly by radio from Edwards' base. Is someone keeping an eye on Hampson? Yes, Wayne is with him. Hampson fit enough to talk, Wayne. No, he hasn't stopped raving since we picked him up, Lieutenant. What's the update on the Red Alert? Alert maintained. But we're not dealing with an ordinary enemy anymore. Captain Lloyd is dead. Hell. I'm going up to the bridge. Hold on, we have to get Hampson to talk. Still not fit to talk? Not yet, Lieutenant. Still not fit to talk? Not yet, Lieutenant. You can join Driscoll up on the bridge. Aye, aye, Lieutenant. Yeah. Uh, Aldry. Elskad. Yeah. Uh, Aldry. Elskad. Negon. Yeah. Done for, Ryan. 
Mage. You don't have to play nurse with me. <coughs> anyway, you, do, you don't even look the part. to the Victoria Admiral. Have they come back, or did we hit a reef? I've got nothing on radar, Admiral. That came from within the Victoria. Any damage? Flooding in the torpedo room. We need to send an SOS and to pump out that water. How can we send an SOS? Only the captain knew the transmission code and the frequency. But maybe Stanley knows. Where can I find Stanley? Below, in the engine room. Take this walkie-talkie. How can we pump out the torpedo room? We can't do it from here. We need to get inside the torpedo room.
can I do to free you? Use the winch! Hurry, please! Stanley's trapped under a beam. We've got to get him out. Turn on the winch and use the walkie-talkie to guide me. I'll operate the winch from the bridge. Okay, bring in the winch. Aye, aye, Admiral. Aye, aye. Now lower the chain. Okay, I need to send an SOS. Driscoll says you can help me. My poor engines! My engines! Stanley! Captain Lloyd is dead! Oh my god! Give me the radio frequency. 107461. Get us out of here quickly, Lieutenant. Mayday! Mayday! HMS Victoria in trouble! 58 West, 48 South! We're taking on water! At the rate we're taking on water, we'll never be able to surface. No Allied vessel will be able to locate us. We need to send something up to the surface. Maybe we could fire a torpedo. No, no one will know where it came from. But we could send one of us up to the surface. I'll go. Negative. If anyone takes this risk, it's me. How can we pump out the torpedo room? We can't do it from here. We need to get inside the torpedo room. Driscoll, I'm going into tube number 26. Stand by for firing in 10 seconds. Hold on tight, Admiral. This will blow your skirt up. Admiral, there's a vessel on the surface. With a bit of luck, you won't have to swim for too long. All right, Admiral, let's go! I take my hat off to him. He's got guts, that little lieutenant.
Distress flare! Sound the alarm! We found them! The Falkland Islands. Edwards Base, 13th of January, 1937. As far as you're concerned, Ryan, Operation Polaris is over. But while you await your repatriation to Washington, you'll continue to hold the rank of Lieutenant in the Royal Navy. What happened to Ham's son? We found him exhausted inside a metal locker on board the Victoria. He's been taken to the medical wing on the base. Is the last Polaris crate safely stowed, Captain Sears? I've placed it under close watch. Nothing can happen to it. Enter! At ease. Captain, I've put the film uh, Miss Molly sent outside in the corridor. Thank you. You have a projection room here on the base? Yes, but the projectionist has been confined to barracks by Quartermaster Quincy. Who is this Miss Molly, Captain? The code name for one of our spies operating in Germany. I must leave you, Lieutenant. I have matters to deal with. Wait in my office for Quincy. He'll give you your duty roster. Lieutenant? Your duty roster, Lieutenant? Hmm? Please uh, wait in the captain's office. The quartermaster will be along presently to give you your duty roster. Quartermaster Quincy? Oh, here's your duty roster. Lieutenant, you have nothing more to do here. I've already wasted enough time drawing up your duty roster. Some effects belonging to Hampson have disappeared. I need to find them. Lieutenant? Your duty roster, Lieutenant? Here it is. Lieutenant Ryan, 
No messages for me. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I don't have time to talk to you. Are you the projectionist for the base? Aye, lad, but I've been confined to barracks for a little cigarette traffic and I had going. Could you screen this film for me? You're on! Why did you hate Quincy? But what are you offering in return? Quincy has had you confined at Captain Sears' orders? No, lad. The captain's not the type to confine a man because of three cigarettes. He's a good chap, the captain. I haven't been sent by Quincy. I get the impression he's not very keen on me either. <laughs> that's more like it. He's added another line in red to my fail, you know. Are there personnel files at the base? You'll have to ask Shaw about that. He knows everything. Here. <laughs> I know now it's not one of Quincy's tricks, but I accept only if I can be of service to you. Could you screen this film for me? Give us your film. I'll run it for you. Could you screen this film for me? My friend, did you enjoy the film? Very edifying, uh, McLaughlin. Uh, what kind of film is it? Technical, McLaughlin. Very technical. Uh, McLaughlin? Yes, lad? You shouldn't smoke so much. Bad for your health. Are you Lieutenant Ryan? Hampson has disappeared. I discovered a strange green slime at the foot of his bunk. Have you noticed anything similar on board the Victoria? No, not that I can remember. Hmm, that's strange.
Your pass, Lieutenant. Your pass, Lieutenant. I'm Lieutenant Ryan. No messages for me? I've just deciphered one for you. Hey, your friends in Washington are all paranoid. Have intercepted coded message originating from Edwards base and destined for Germany. A traitor is operating from within the base. Look up the personnel files and keep an eye on Hamsung. Uh, do you know where I can find the personnel files? Ask McClaglin. I spoke to him. He said you could help me. All right, Lieutenant. The files are next to the armory. Pass, Lieutenant. Here you are. Lieutenant? I must have eaten something that was off. Where's the sick bit? Behind you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? I've been ordered to help Quartermaster Quincy find Hamsun's belongings. Good luck, Lieutenant. This closet's a real junkie. <laughs> the nurse is getting engaged to that little schemer, sure. You're joking. I never joke. 